Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, already subscribed, welcome. Today, I'm going to be showing you the next part of my wash and go, how I refresh my curls and maintain my wash and go. So I know this says winter wash and go, but this is what I do in my winter wash and go. So guys, I'm just gonna quickly show you, because obviously it's cold outside, you want your curls to stay juicy and moisturized and not start snapping and stuff like that. What I'm gonna do is quickly show you what I do. It's not long at all. I slept with my hair like this in a pineapple, but as you can see, I've got frizz, I've got wispy bits sticking out. So we gotta sort these bits out. But all I'm gonna do is take my hair down. It's not looking too bad. So just to keep my curls looking a bit more juicier and less dry, I'm going to quickly refresh my hair as I said. So I'm gonna section my hair as I do when I'm doing a wash and go, but this won't take long because all I'm doing is reactivating the gel or whatever style you decide to use. And it makes sense for me to reactivate it with the leave-in conditioner that I actually use to style my hair. Not your mother's way to grow leave-in conditioner. Now this is a spray conditioner, so this is perfect for refreshing your hair, guys. So as you can see, I have little flat curls and dry parts. All I'm gonna do is spritz it lightly. You don't want your hair to be soaking wet, you just want it to be slightly damp, just misted. Okay, as you can see now my hair is starting to get a bit more life. And the reason why you want it slightly misted is because this is something quick. You can do this in the morning before you leave, if you wake up on time. So now my hair's slightly misted, guys, as you can see. I've still got some frizzing, but it's fine. The curls are more, clumping more together now. I'm just gonna twist this patch. You don't want to mess up the curls, but the reason why I'm twisting is to keep my curls elongated whilst it's drying. So this should dry within about 10 to 15 minutes, I'd say. Pretty self-explanatory, guys. And obviously, if you do have gel at the front that needs to be reactivated, if it's turning flaky, you can do that also. So as you can see the gel's reactivated, but if you do have any excess, you can wipe that off. And I'm pretty sure this dries clear, so it won't, shouldn't leave any residue. And I mainly wanna focus on my ends, guys, with the moisture, because obviously I'm wearing a top like this. You are most probably gonna be wearing thicker tops in the winter where your hair can catch, because this type of material does catch my hair. In regards to your edges, if you prefer, you can take a satin headscarf and just lay down your edges. But as the gel's reactivated, and that was where I had the most amount of gel to lay my edges, I don't feel that I necessarily need a headscarf. That's another option. If you do want to do that, you can. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for about 10 minutes, guys. This one's starting to dry already. And then I'll come back to you. Okay, guys, so 15 minutes has now gone past. I just done some hoovering, put some clothes away, and I've come back to you. As you can see, it's taken the shape of the twist. So all I'm gonna do is take it all out, still slightly damp, and then scrunch. And they're also laid. I haven't used any tools, my hair looks stretched. Just scrunch it up a bit more. It's only slightly damp, so once it dries, it will dry this length, guys. Well, it's pretty much dried anyway. So the ends that are really parts that are damp. But once it's dried, it will stay this length, 
and voila <laughs> there you go guys i've got another little wet look style going on so that is it very quick and easy you could do it in the morning do it at your twist scrunch shake off you go all right let me show you the back This method is literally only for maybe your third to fourth day of your wash and go. In the first few days of your wash and go, you won't need to do this. So this is just to refresh your curls and put more moisture into your hair before wash day again. All right, guys, so it reduces breakage, it reduces frizz, and creates definition and volume. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on Thursday. Bye.